Hi everybody. So Cracker Jack and I have been doing some thinking, haven't we, buddy? And we've been wondering, how can we make a difference right now? How can we do something that shows God's love? I mean, we have to stay in our house and there's not a lot you can do in here, especially for Cracker Jack and I. We live by ourselves. So other than showing love to each other, that's all we can do inside our house. Hmm. I wonder if you have some ideas. Well, let's read our story. Maybe it'll give us an idea. Are you ready? Our story today comes from the Spark Story Bible. And this story is called The Great Commission. This is the story about Jesus. After Jesus had died and rose from the dead, before Jesus went to heaven to be with God, he was talking to the disciples. Let's see what he says to them. Are you ready? Okay. Jesus went to see the disciples after he had been raised from the dead. They buzzed with excitement. Is that you, Jesus? We're so glad to see you. Do you want something to eat? Jesus smiled. Peace be with you, he said. I have things to tell you. The disciples gathered close around Jesus, eager to listen to him. Jesus began, God has given me all the power in heaven and earth. The disciples looked at each other and began chattering again. Whoa, wonderful. We knew it. Fantastic. What will you do first? Wait, Jesus said. There's more. The disciples listened carefully. And Jesus said, go everywhere in the world and teach people about me. And remember, I will be with you always. Jesus returned to heaven, and the happy disciples soon began the work Jesus had told them to do. Wow. So, Jesus said that even when he wasn't here with us, when he was in heaven, that we should go and tell people about him. Hmm. How could we do that when we're in our houses? Well, if we live with people, right? If we live with a mom or dad or a grandma or grandpa or uncle or an aunt, or we live with a brother or a sister or cousin, maybe, we could tell them how much God loves them, couldn't we? We could do something special for them. We could make them breakfast, right? But I have a good, I have a good idea. I have another challenge for you. And this will be our activity for today. And it may not be something you can do today. You may need a grown-up's help. And you may have to do it in the next day or so. But I'm going to give you a challenge to call someone who lives by themselves right now, who doesn't have people living with them. Call someone who lives by themselves and tell them how much you love them, how much God loves them, and check on them. See how they're doing. Are they feeling okay? Do they have enough food? Do they have enough toilet paper? Do they have the things that they need? Let them know you're thinking about them. You know, that's one of the ways that God uses us. God uses us to let other people know they are loved by God and that they are loved by us too. So that's a big challenge. And maybe it's somebody you don't know. And that's okay. Because um, Deacon Sherry knows a lot of people from our church that live by themselves. So if you need a number for somebody to call, to check on, to say hi to, to maybe get to know, have your mom or dad or a grown-up call me and I'll give you a number of somebody who would love to have a phone call from you. And you can call them and tell them that God loves them and just check on them and see how they're doing. I think that's a great way to share God's love. And that's how we are a part of what's called the Great Commission or what Jesus did to send God's people out into the world. Did you know that you are a part of God's gift to our world? You are. You, with all of your gifts and all of your talents, you are part of God's gift 
to the world. And I think that you are an awesome part because I think you are amazing with all of your gifts. Some of you are awesome singers. Maybe you could sing a song when you call the person. Some of you are really great sports players. Maybe you could tell the person about a game that you played. You have so many gifts and so many ways to share God's love. So remember that challenge that I gave you. If you need help thinking of a person to call, give me a call and I'll give you a number and a name. Remember that no matter what, God loves you beyond all imagination. You are loved for exactly who you are. And remember that I love you very much. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.